This screencast describes some of the projects in the book Optical Illusions, which is the fourth book in the Model Metrics Advanced series. In this project, you can study contrasting colors. You start with a large checkerboard of alternating white and green squares. In this band, you replace the white squares with pink ones, and in this band, you replace the green squares with pink ones. Even though the pinks are exactly the same, the ones against the darker colors look lighter than the ones against the lighter colors. What makes this fun to do in SketchUp is that you can change the colors while you're looking at it. For example, if you want to edit the pink, you can find the pink square in the Materials window and double-click on it to edit it. You can move any of the sliders around to test out different colors. For example, you can test out yellow and see that this yellow looks a little bit darker than this yellow, even though you know they're the same. If I want to change one of the other colors, I can press my Alt key while in the Paint tool, which turns the cursor into an eyedropper symbol. I'll click a green square and use one of the sliders to change this color. I can use this one here to go from dark to light, and this one here to make it look more washed out or more saturated. Now I'll press the Alt key and click a white square and try out some different combinations here too. With some of these combinations it can really look like the two yellows in the two bands look like completely different shades. Another type of illusion you can create in the book Optical Illusions is called a color star. This illusion appears when you create varying bands of color from one color to another. You start with two squares, red and white, divide these into four squares so that you get four shades varying from red to white. Then you subdivide these into eight squares and you can see a little bit at the corners the color star is starting to appear. When you end up with 16 shades, you can see it a lot more clearly. And when you zoom out, you can really see it clearly, what looks like a white letter X in the middle of this red square. The last illusion in this screencast is called floating squares. The illusion is that these squares in the middle look like they're floating above this set of blurry circles, when in fact the whole thing is one 2D model. And the blurry circles are not blurry circles at all, each one is a group of concentric circles with hidden edges in which each circle has a different shade of gray, ranging from dark to light. If you'd like to create your own optical illusions, including many more models that trick your eye and play with color, all of the projects are detailed in the book Optical Illusions, the fourth book in the Model Metrics Advanced series. For information about these projects and all other model metrics projects, and to see resources for parents, teachers, and kids, please visit www.3dvinci.net. Thanks for watching.